What is up guys, I am Alex from Level Up Plus VFX, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this moody smoke in my latest blender scene. Now this is all done in engine, and I normally do my smoke in Photoshop because I feel like I have more control over it when I'm painting it in, rather than if I'm using a procedural material like the one I'm about to show you. However, this does have its merits because then you're able to use the lighting in the scene to affect the smoke rather than having to paint that in in an application like Photoshop. This method is different than the other methods that you might see for smoke tutorials because it shows you a way to have it fall off naturally as it rises instead of just being one big box of a smoky, cloudy material, which is something that I see a lot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. So I'm first going to go ahead and create a cube and I'm gonna drag that out to an area where I can see it. I don't know, I'm just gonna hit period to focus on it. I'm gonna click S and five to just scale it up so it's a little bit bigger and we're going to create a new material. Let's go ahead and delete the principled BSDF. We won't be needing it and we're gonna add a principled volume. Let's go ahead and plug the volume into the volume and then a normal tutorial would tell you to add a Musgrave texture. I typed that in wrong, Musgrave texture. Plug that height into the density, change the scale to however you like. I'm going to do 2.8, change the detail to 15, the dimension to 0.5, and then maybe add a color ramp so you can control it sharpness a little bit more. And they would say, wow, what a great smoke material. Thanks for watching. But this is the secret sauce. I'm gonna show you a method that gives you much more control over the fall off of this smoke in a way that allows you to have lower angles without feeling like it's just a flat cut off on the top. So go ahead and pull out your Musgrave texture, do Control T when you have Node Wrangler enabled, add a gradient node, and go ahead and plug the vector into the vector. Go ahead and switch this from linear to quadratic and add a color ramp. Plug the color into the factor and do control shift on the color ramp so you can look through it. Oh no, it's on its side. Go ahead and switch the rotation of the Y value by 90 degrees and you will have the fall off looking correctly. This is what is going to control the fall off of our Musgrave texture. But how do we control the fall off? When I was first confronted with this issue, what I did was I added a mix RGB node. I go ahead and drop that in. I, and I put the color of color ramp into the color one. I put the Musgrave into color two and I switched this over to multiply, which this does work. If you go ahead and now change the color ramp, you do have a fall off. However, this is all very linear and you can tell that it's still gonna have a a flat linear fall off. So instead of having this color ramp being plugged into color one, I'm going to plug it into the factor and switch this over to subtract. And then I'm going to switch this over to color one. I missed that. Now if we go ahead and grab color two, put that all the way up to white, when we move our color ramp, we can actually control a natural fall off for our texture. So if we go ahead and plug that subtract node into the density, when we look through our volume, we can see that it's falling off in a much more natural way. One that actually allows you to use low angles without it seeming weird. But this doesn't look super great right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a color ramp. I'm gonna plug that right into after the subtract node. I'm gonna change this white to a dark gray. Once I've changed it to a dark gray, I'm gonna pull the black out a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull the gray as close as I can to the black. Uh, this will just basically make it all one color instead of being a natural fall off. So something like that should be good. And then the last step is to add a math node. So I'm gonna drag this all out for a second here. I'm gonna add a math node, and I'm gonna plug that in right there. We're going to switch this over to multiply, change the value to 50, and then I'm going to plug that into the density, which it already is. And if we look through it now, we have a really cool smoke material that we can control the fall off with this one color ramp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a super quick one, but I think it's very useful. This is something that actually gave me a large headache trying to find a tutorial that showed me how to do this. So I'm very happy to be able to share this with you guys. If you didn't like the speed of this tutorial, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make it as quickly as possible, but I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.